Hi everyone. So this is the Yesu FT857. And what I want to do is I want to show you the settings for digital mode. So the first thing you want to do is press and hold on the function button. Okay, then move the knob, the select knob, and go to menu number one. So we can go to extended menu. We want to turn on the extended menu, use the frequency knob, press and hold the function button to get out. Press and hold the function button again, and we're in, and now we have um, new menus. Let's use the knob, the select knob, to go to menu number 19, cat rate. Okay, use the frequency knob, put it into a value of 38,400 for the cat rate. Now cat stands for computer-aided transceiver. Cat is for controlling the radio via computer, in this case, I'm going to be using my Raspberry Pi. These menus uh, settings that we're going to do for digital mode should work for the Mac or the PC, but I haven't tried them yet. If uh, you do use them for the Mac or PC, come back um, to this video and put your results in the comment section. Now let's go to menu number 20. Let's use the select knob over here. And I'm in menu 20. Use the frequency knob to select cat. That will open the port in the back of the radio. Now that the cat port is open, I can use my cable. That one end is a serial port, connects to the radio, and the other end of that cable, a USB port that connects to the Raspberry Pi, which allows the Raspberry Pi to run WSJTX, a program that implements communication protocols or modes like FT8 or JT4. Basically, these programs will control the radio by sending and receiving weak HF signals that contain messages. Let's use the select knob and go to menu number 36, digital display. Okay, should be uh, set to uh, zero. Now, digital display defines the display frequency offset during digital mode. Um, many blogs say to put it uh, to zero. I don't know what this is for, but we're going to put it to zero. Let's move on to the next menu, which is 37. And this is digital gain. Now, digital gain should be set to 50. Digital gain is the input gain for digital mode. Now, this value you will be changing usually below 50 when you are using something like FT8. Um, this uh, digital gain, if you increase it too much, it's going to distort the messages that you send uh, through the radio. The next menu is menu number 38, digital mode. This one you're going to choose uh, user U for the user going into the upper um, sideband. Okay, next, number 39, menu, digital shift. That should be to zero. And that defines the carrier frequency offset during the user U mode. If you change that too much, you can see in the waveform that the carrier frequency moves back and forth so let's put that value into zero. Next menu will be menu 40, digital box. That should be set to zero. For sound, I will be using the Sovereign, a USB external sound card. The Sovereign will connect to the Raspberry Pi via the USB port, while the other end of the Sovereign will connect to the data serial port on the rig. And that's all the settings. Let's go back to the function button. Let's press and hold the function button to get out of the menu mode. And then when you're transmitting in digital mode, you will see this light here turn red. And you'll also see the DIG symbol here uh, stating that it's in digital mode. Now remember the cat cable that is connected to the Raspberry Pi to the rig will make those 
changes and it will set it into DIG. And also, don't forget that the radial signal, the sound, is going to go through the sovereign um, external sound card. So have a lot of fun. If you like this video, if it was useful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Good luck, and I'll see you soon. This is Frank, KN6BST.